Saubona, South African Airways has been in the news uh, lately, uh, and I'm here as South African Airways as CEO to address a whole spectrum of our stakeholders uh, about the recent week, uh, news this week when the Minister of Public Enterprises, uh, Minister Gordon, uh, communicated that uh, the, the negotiations that have been going on for about two years on the consortium named Takatso Aviation, uh, taking over a majority share holding in South, Af in, in South African Airways with an injection of a given amount of uh, funds, uh, that that transaction has now uh, been terminated. As the CEO of South African Airways, I believe that uh, I should, in with my full fiduciary and legal responsibility, give a solemn res uh, assurance to all our stakeholders, our staff, our customers who have loyally been uh, supporting us, uh, to our uh, bankers and uh, uh, providers, suppliers of services, that uh, the company has a plan and the company has a viability uh, beyond uh, this period. South African Airways launched uh, in uh, April 2021, rising as a phoenix uh, after the uh, challenges of COVID, uh, etc. Uh, where we were in 2022 flying only about uh, seven uh, routes. Uh, currently, we are flying 14 routes. And we have a plan that by the end of uh, the coming financial year, which for us starts in April 2024, uh, that by March next year, we will be flying uh, to more than 16 routes. Uh, we have an order currently of aircraft where during this coming uh, financial year, where we are now flying 13 aircraft, we will be adding those aircraft with eight more. Four of those aircraft are firmly booked and paid for with our uh, LESO partners, and they will be delivered during the period of uh, uh, April and, and June. We have a business model that ensures that as we move forward, South African Airways uh, will continue. Hence, we are saying that it is business uh, as usual, even though we have uh, uh, this news. Parallel to what the shareholder uh, had the responsibility of engaging with the, uh, with the uh, Takatsu Aviation Consortium on, the management of SAA and the board have been working on a plan, a plan which we are now continuing to put into place. Key to that plan is a remodeled SAA, an SAA that is resized, an SAA that is repositioned, an SAA that is planned to grow gradually and carefully, uh, growing out of its own uh, resources. Linked to that is that SAA has a range of assets uh, that can be accessed and we will be accessing uh, to ensure that uh, we are able to approach other finding, funding uh, uh, options other than the reliance on the fiscals. We have a, a portfolio property that is totally unencumbered, that has recently been valued at 5.5 billion rand. Uh, we have a, a surplus of uh, aircraft stock uh, because SAA has uh, exited uh, some types of aircraft over the years. And that, uh, that stock, we are ready to convert into cash. We have, uh, we have just uh, exited uh, the fleet of our A340s uh, during uh, 2021. And the sale of that, uh, of, those, of that aircraft is continuing. And in the coming quarters, SAA will continue to receive uh, a, a significant uh, amounts of money as part of that. But key to this, of course, is our reliance on uh, our efficiencies, the efficiencies of our operations, and, 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 and positioning South African Airways as an attractive uh, aircraft, so a, a airline that uh, our passengers will continue uh, to, to support. In short, we are saying that uh, the, the future of South African Airways remains strong. 
uh, within the context of the airline industry that South African Airways is part of. Uh, we believe that uh, we have a plan uh, that is solid and our expansion plans uh, uh, will be uh, successful. Thank you.